How you guys doing again? It's your Stan Benjamin T-shirt, Saha Su. Here today, bring you guys another design video. I'm a little discouraged, a little bit frustrated because the whole illustrator just kicked out on me. Uh, but before it did, my, my screen capture, which wasn't working before, is kind of cooperating. Uh, and I've got to get you guys pretty much a full design and a redesign of it. Uh, so I got two versions out. The last one wasn't quite complete when it kicked out, but you guys get to see the full portion. I'm going to go back and look at my videos now and decide which one I'm going to recreate, which one I like better. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. This has been Stand Back and Teacher Side Hustle. Happy printing. All right, this entire design process took about 30 minutes. Okay, right now I'm just bringing in my silhouette of my player, which has to be Quadri Henderson, who plays at Pitt right now. For me, play 707 for me. And right now I'm typing the words in, and I'm going to pick the fonts that I, most of them I had already selected, but I ended up going back and trying to find some more. I'm just lining the three up that I like, that I knew I liked, uh, versus each other. So now I'm going back to uh, the font.com just to uh, download this last font that I was looking for. So you guys get to see what I'm looking for here. I'm going to install it. And I didn't know it was this many, but I just installed them all just to, because I don't know which one I'll end up using. Probably the basic one, but uh, just install them all. It's actually going to delay a little bit, but they'll end up being there. can find it right now. So then I'm just going to type it in, and there it goes. All right, so now I'm going to duplicate the layer, so because now I'm going to start manipulating the text and stuff like that. So I always want to have the text, uh, basic text options next to each other. I'm going to start with this one. And I don't know why this thing just did that, but it jumped to the side there. I'm play with how I'm going to lay it out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically I'm going to stroke everything. I'm going to save this one because I want to come back to that see what it looks like. Outline strokes, and I'm going to merge the, each part together. Alright, now I'm going to add the strokes here. I'm sorry, earlier it wasn't outline stroke, it was outline, uh, free outlines of the text. Mm -hmm. so stroke, now I'm outlining the stroke. I'm just going to ungroup everything so I can't ungroup it anymore. So now I can grab all of the white and merge them on the back layer. Alright, then I can grab all of the black and uh, I'm going to offset the text. Alright, so I can get that border that I want. I'm going to have to go back and change the color. Um, when I'm done, so we'll select both edges there, change the color to black, and you'll see the looking going for which is right there. And I'm just playing with how it, where exactly it's positioned, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to get rid of some of the extra points that's down maybe in the black bottom right, and then uh, the top as well. Had a little mix up with the layers, some of the movement. You see, it looks a little different, so I had to back up and then get it right. Group it and then group it. And I'll put it up where I need it to be. Keep going on my palette there. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to use my pen tool to remove some points. I didn't like necessarily. I missed the point there. I'm going to remove this point up here and zoom back out. Now you see, you can see his body, the bottom part of his body behind this. I'm just going to put a box there to make it simple right now. And I think I'm pretty much close to the end. I just want to make sure I got it looking correct the way I want it to. Make sure I got him positioned. Move that box down a little bit. Didn't want a little a line differentiating the two. Want it to kind of merge and look together. So this is pretty much generally how I create something with a silhouette. Uh, this isn't my signature design, but that's what I'm going to come back to here. Right now, I'm just going to trim it apart so I have make sure it can be transparent. So I'm going to work with that. 
So make make sure everything looks exactly the way I want it to look. This is kind of a long way of doing this. I think I end up going back and redoing it. Just a little faster method. There you go. See now, I just removed it so I didn't have to go back in and click all of those things. Just put it back on the same layer. And now we're looking pretty good. I'm going to send this to his mom once I'm finished and see exactly how uh, she reacts to it. So now I want to play with my signature design and I'm going to use uh, the text here that's on the left. And I'm going to use a cursor font, which I'm about to go back to the font and find one real quick. I just wanted to see what this one looked like. Mm, looks pretty cool, but didn't really like it, so I went ahead now. Sketch was one I recently used, but now I'm just going to go ahead and look on the font here. You guys will see how fast I really scroll through to find my font. I already seen one that I like, so I'm just looking to see on the first sheet. I want I only want to go through the first two pages, really, maybe three pages if I can't find nothing that sticks out. But here I found one right there that I'm going to use. I'm going to install that. Now I got a little confused coming up, a little tripped up on this part, but you guys will see exactly what I'm trying to do here. And then I went back and did it the easy way. So you guys get to see this. Boom, drop that over the top. Now the part that messed me up a little bit is that the 10, the T has to stay over top to dif differentiate, all right, the layers. And you'll see it starts to kind of merge once I start to work with the strokes and things like that. So what I end up doing is copying it later on to a new layer, which you guys will get to see. And then I made the background layer, the actual outlet outline. And makes it just a little easier to work with. I tried to do it the, the long way, the, the right way, the easy way to do it, but just because the way the T overlaps, you see there how it's black on black, and that's not what you want. You want the, the outline of the T to stay there, so I still tried to play with it a little bit. I could have cut this part out, but I just left it in there. It's just one of the things that I uh, had a trouble with with this design. So now I'm going to offset the path, and this is where it got crazy, as you can see. So I couldn't differentiate what was offset, what was the inside. I tried to, but it wasn't just, just wasn't working out. Yeah, you see there how it was all black on me, and I, now I'm trying to select the outside and play around with it, but it wasn't really cooperating. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm just going back all the way up to it looks normal again. Pretty soon here. I think right now is where I, I decided to abandon the whole thing and just back up, back up, back up. All right, so now I'm going to make a new layer, and now I'm going to lock that new layer once I make it. Boom, lock it. And then I'm going to offset that path. Now I have my offset path, which is going to be my background layer. And now when I apply my top layer back on, now you get the effect that you wanted to. Just a little easier, a little quicker. All right, now I'm just going to start playing with the resizing. And this is where my video is about to cut out short. So uh, you guys will just get to look at how I place this one. And I have to go back and start, totally start to redesign it over. Unfortunate, but it has to be done. I'm just going to try to look at this video and pick which one I like. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You get to see my design process. This is Stan Banks. T-shirt size, happy printing.